single family, family homes. homes. Isn't that perfect? Hey. Yeah. Yep. Woo! That's oh. our. <laughs>
it's really important. And why, why, why I'm going this with the investor part is because the investor is the one that makes the final decision. So yeah. if they see, okay, one of the last houses sold in the it's last It's like going days. to Papa. Exactly. Well, <laughs> the house Mama's that, not going to give you the right. answer, so you better go to Papa. <laughs> That's right. And they're going to see houses that sold for like way above. Well, why is this house lower than all these other houses that sold 30 days ago? Well, the BPO needs to detail that. And that's why it's important to go with somebody knowledgeable like Barbara and me that will let the banks know this is what's wrong with the house. And if there's nothing wrong, that's great. Um, but sometimes there is things that wrong that's going to mess with the sales price yeah. and make it lower. Um, and that's important for the investor to see. So you want to get the investor all the information out there so they can make a good decision, professional decision, a sound decision on the pricing of the house. And so that's why it's so important to work with a negotiator like KJD Resolutions or Barbara Jennings that we can get the bank the information they need. Um, I've had bad BPOs ruin, ruin, ruin deals. <laughs> um, and, and we fix them. Um, usually I get the ruined ones from other negotiators. <laughs> they switch negotiators and I, and, and like, we're not, this short sales a year old. There's no reason if you're right now with another negotiator or, or, you know, and you're in one year, it's not supposed to take that long. There's something wrong. Yeah. Um, and it's good to, communicate with the bank, even with while you're negotiating to see what's happening. So, you know, there may be something missed or give us a call and we can talk to the banks. Yeah, check, um, in. Yeah, check in on it and we'll, we'll do, we do that for free. So um, again, the investor is the decision maker. The servicer is the collector, I like to say. Uh, the collector of documents. That's a good way for people to <laughs> yeah, remember that. They collect that the money from the monthly your payments money. and then they collect the documents for your short sale. And the investor is like Papa, who makes the decisions. <laughs> <laughs> Papa making the Papa decisions. Papa making decisions. So there you have it guys. What is Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and what is the servicer? What's the difference between that? And as always, we are here to help you guys. So down below is all our contact information. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, drop a comment. I need help. <laughs> <laughs> I need a document. If you've seen some of our other videos, um, we kind of like, we like to have fun. We like to mm -hmm. laugh. However, we understand that this is a very emotional and serious situation, um, that everybody is in. Um, but we want to make sure that we get this information out to you guys and doing our part to make sure that it's up to date because there's a lot of information that's yeah. like, you're watching videos back in 2011, 2013 and stuff it's like that. Same. This is 2022. You're getting the updated information now. Um, because of COVID and Thank all you. of the different things that have transpired. We're not living the same world. Nope. You know, we're not going back to what it was before COVID. So as always, we are ask you guys, if you like this video, that you smash the like button. So uh, we get more people to share our information. Uh, YouTube likes that. And until our next video, we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.